Hey everyone, today's video we are going to learn the most important concept in Java program that is called array. So what is an array? An array is a collection of similar data type and it is stored into memory location. Instead of creating separate variable for each value, you can use an array to store and manage them efficiently. Like that you can see, suppose you want to store the value as 10, 20, 30. Simple approach, you will create three variable like num1, num2, num3 but using the array you can finish into one variable like you can see in this example. So let's try to understand the array basics. First you have to declare the type of array. Next step is like initialization. You need to define the size of array or you can provide the values directly and the third one is like accessing element. You can use the index to access the specific element. So let's break down all these steps so how we can declare the array first of all you have to give the data type then a square bracket or i can say array bracket after that you can give the array name so here data type can be primitive data type like integer character double byte or you can also use java object we are going to learn object very soon and array name it is a identifier so you can give your customized name so you can see this example here you can give the type as a int use the square bracket after that you can declare the array name like numbers you can also declare like numbers equal to new int 10 so here the array is stored 10 element you can also say that the size or length of array is 10. So in Java, we can declare and allocate memory of an array in one single statement also. So how we can initialize the array in Java? So we can initialize like int array bracket numbers equal to new in 3. That means here array is going to store 3 element so at the index of 0 the value is 10 index of 1 the value is 20 and index of 2 the value is 30 so in java each memory location is associated with a number so the number is known as array index you can also initialize arrays in java using the index number you have to always remember like array index always start from zero that means the first element of an array is at index zero so here index zero is containing the value as 10 index of 1 is containing value as 20 index of 2 is containing the value as 30 please remember the points like array in java are zero index you can create array of any data type like integer string object etc and array have a fixed size once initialized so if the size of an array is n then the last element of the array will be at index n minus 1 please don't get confused we will see with example so another way like you can directly declare and initialize the value into one line like in square bracket numbers equal to 10 comma 20 comma 30 so here no need to define size as a 3 you can just put the value this is also correct so next thing is like how we can access the element so you can access the element by using the below syntax so here you have to use the array then you can put the index value so let me show one example like here int numbers equal to 10 comma 20 comma 30 and how we can access the first element first element we can access by using zero index so zero having 10 one having 20 value two index having 30 value so you can see how to access this one so let's try to do some code about the array so let's try to declare by both way first step is declaration so give the type as in then use array bracket and you can give the identifier that means the name of the array i can give here as a numbers so how we can initialize we can initialize by two way first way is like just give like new in and you can declare size as a 3 now we can put the value so at number 0 will contain value as 10 so let's copy this one we can directly change the value index 1 index 2 let's change as 20 let's change as 30 so how we can print the value of 10 so for that just use sys out and what you have to do just use numbers of 0 index let's run so once you will run you can see the value as a 10 so let's run as a debug mode you can see 0 index the value is 10 first index the value is 20 index 2 value as 30 and the whole number is containing the value as a 10 then 20 then 30 what will be happen if you try to access the index as 3 so currently there is no data at index 3 so definitely we are going to get an error so you can see we are getting an 
error as java.language.arrayIndexOutOfBound exception. So this is the first approach you can declare. Another approach what you can do, you can just use like int and you can give the variable name as numbers and directly you can use the curly brace and you can put the value 10, 20, 30. So in this one line, we have done the declaration and we have also done the initialization. Now we need to access the value. So just copy this line and give the index as 2. Let's give the index as 0. 2 means I'm expecting value as 30 and 0 means I'm expecting value as 10. So let's run. You can see we are getting 10 and 30. So like that you can define and you can play. So why use array? Array helps simplifying your code by reducing the need of multiple variables. They also make it easier to work with large data set. For instance, arrays are perfect for storing marks of a student, temperature of cities and etc. So in the next video, we are going to learn about one dimensional array and we will learn how to manipulate the data and try to print all data using the for loop.